here is a Stefano Scalampala violin uh, made in Italy, uh, Brescia, 1883. Uh, we want to change the strings for it because the strings are old. I think everybody knows how to change the strings one by one. That's very common. But I want to tell you more important thing. When you change, especially outsider strings, E and G, the best way is loosen both strings at once. So that way, these two strings hold, the middle strings hold the bridge, uh, won't shift e either way. Otherwise, if you just want lose one string, outsider especially, just the E string for example, the three string G and D A string has the tendency to push the bridge sideways. Or, or you change the G without the losing E and uh, the three string has tension that might be moved the bridge the other way. So you might not see the bridge even change the position, but when you put the string on and you will hear the sound, maybe different. So that's very important. Um, when you put the string on, also G and E, I put the new on, for example. Just same times, put the tension together. That way, so the bridge stays same position. So then you have to tune this string. Okay, that's very important. Take both strings, outsider, at once. I mean, loosen both sides, same times. So keep the bridge in the original place. Thank you.